Appraising the site of a marina is like any other commercial property, but there are specific characteristics that differentiate marina property from others, although they are atypical properties and require a different type of analysis. Appraisers investigate the unite nature of marinas and the specific problems encounter in their use. The items to describe for valuation purposes are water frontage and depth, breakwaters, size, shape, docks, retaining walls, slip number and length, location, protection from wave, on-site utilities and services, water quality, parking, buildings, riparian rights and many other. Most marina buildings are used for residential and complementary commercial purposes and can be easily described and explained. In this series of videos, I will describe the site, building and business characteristics, uniting to marinas and the most important factors to consider for the valuation. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos and write your comments or questions. Location is an important influence on the success of a marina. Factors like proximity to town center, convenience to waterways and outlets, visibility from commercial roads, space available for boat upland, parking, potential for residential development, type of services and businesses offered in the marina, proximity to fishing area, water depth and more, are directly related to location. The appraiser is responsible for determining and analyzing the most important factors. Riparian rights defines it as the case that the landowner does not own the water itself but instead enjoys a right to use the water and its surface area for piers, boathouses, fishing, boating, navigation, and the right to access for such purposes. The owner leases the land underneath the water with the right to use the surface of the water, with certain restrictions. No payments need to be made, but annual payments must be made on riparian leases. The valuer should verify that the riparian rights lease has not expired. The remaining life of the lease has a significant impact on the value of the marina. If the lease has expired the marina may have to close. Weather protection. From storms, waves, wind, and ice damage. Marinas can be threatened by strong water currents and waves. To minimize damage from storms and waves, marinas are most cases located in Natura or man-made cove or inlet and is less likely to experience wave damage. However, damage from ice is distinctly possible. The valuer must research the history of the marina to see if there is a history of icing and analyze potential ice damage and determine the degree of damage that to the boats in the past. To protect buildings and slips a breakwater is constructed, which stops or slows water currents and waves. The valuer should be aware of the cost involved in repairing or replacing a breakwater when damaged by a storm. The boat slip has a significant bearing on the value of a marina. A marina with more slips counts as a greater opportunity to increase income than a competitor has, with all other factors being equal. The amount of water frontage and the ownership of the land under the water basin control the number of allowable boat slips. A typical minimum depth at a dockside should be two and a half meters. Also, the extent of upland is significant. It provides parking spaces, dry boat storage, buildings, and other related utilities. If you have found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe for more videos and write your comments or questions.